Alright, I'm going to show you how to use the Werfel Customizer by terra-werfel.com to customize your Werfel file. You can download the Werfel file from werfel.sourceforge.net and you can download Werfel Customizer from terra-werfel.com. Alright, let's assume you've got a Werfel file on your system already. You hit the load Werfel file button and we will just grab this one here. Uh, that's the default one from the werfel.sourceforge.net website. It's about 14 megs or so. Alright, here it is. It's loaded. Source file loaded. 14.36 megs. Alright, we're going to reduce the size of this Werfel file by including only the capabilities that we want, like the device's model name and the brand name, and whether or not it's a wireless device. Um, and we also want to know the resolution, height, and width, as well as the max image width and height, um, which is the largest image we can display on the screen at one time. Okay, hit save custom Werfel file, and we'll call it Werfel-min.xml. Yes. Alright, now it's exporting this new smaller Werfel file, including just the capabilities that we've selected. Now, when you use this with Terra Werfel, uh, it will take considerably less memory and time to process this smaller Werfel file than it will to process the entire standard Werfel file, so this will speed the process up quite a bit. This application was built using uh, Adobe Flex 4, uh, Flash Builder 4, with the Spark components. Uh, here we go. It's finished. Size is 4.02 megs instead of 14.36 megs, so we dropped the file size dramatically. Alright. Uh, if you're using Terra Werfel, you can also uh, click on this button here to get the capability filter definition, and you can just copy that and paste it into your TerraWerfel config file uh, in order to have it use only these capabilities. Uh, that way if you've got patch files it doesn't load the capabilities that you don't want to use off of those patch files and override these. So yes, that's all there is to it.